Hey, how's it going everybody? This is GC Performance here back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, properly install or uh, make a more efficient adjustment to your cleat setups. Um, I know this is all very subjective and fitting is very, uh, it's, it's all based on preference to be honest with you. So there is there is no right and wrong to fit. There's there's reference points that you can um, you can go after a set to make you more efficient in cycling, or but it's what is right for someone may not right be for others. So that's why you'll you'll see these videos on there, on on the YouTube saying you know um, don't set up your your bike like a pro and stuff like that. We want to make sure that however you ride, you're comfortable, and the more comfortable you are, the more power you'll be able to put out. So not always slamming your stem or or um, you know or, or riding exactly like a pro and making yourself more aero does not make you more of a better rider. So. Uh, but besides all that, this is just a um, some of the knowledge I've learned in the bike fitting world, uh, and I'm gonna try to teach it to you guys. So I have here a S Rig Seven shoe. This is the Tour de Honor collection with that uh, orange and pink, and on here these are the Shimano SPD, uh, the road pedals, and these are the yellow ones. And these have a six degree float on here. They make a blue option as well with a two degree float, and then they make a red version with a zero degree float. And what that float allows you to do, it gives you that little bit of play and tilt back and forth. So that way, if you have any ankle, pre existing knee injuries, um, or even if you're just changing cleats and, you're, and it's not exactly what you're riding for, let's say three or four years, and you change your cleats and it's not exactly what it is, it gives your body that little bit of an optimal adjustment to allow you to um, adapt to that. And that's all the float really is. You know, let's say you get off the bike for a couple. Um, a couple weeks or whatever like that, your body has time to acclimate back to that clipped in position. Whereas pros will probably ride um, the red shoes or the red cleats or, or, or blue, whatever it is, preference to them. But they'll 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 want to they want to eliminate that lateral movement as much as possible. But so I'll show you. You guys can kind of see on here how my my setup. I have it more pushed back, and this is called now the new neutral position. So before everyone used to take this cleat and they used to kind of put it in the center of the shoe and kind of line up. The middle of this cleat with the ball of your foot, which like the ball of my foot would be like right here. So before it used to be all up here. Um, and the reason why they they moved to this new neutral position where you can see I kind of lowered it past the ball of my foot is because I'll use my hand as a, as a representation. So think, picture this the bottom of my foot. This is my first metatarsal, which is like my big toe, the, the longer toe, this, the ring toe, the, and then pinky toe over here. This right here, underneath your, your big toe, the, the ball of your foot, this has what's called a sesamoid bone on it, and that's the reason why you get a lot of hot spots because you're thinking you're pushing that power. Every time you're pushing down, your your foot has an arch in it, which will kind of collapse on itself, and you'll get that pressure on that sesamoid bone, uh, allowing uh, that to cause hot spots. And they realize that that they don't want the widest part of your foot, or they don't want the the, the cleat directly on that part because that triggers hot spots even more. So the new neutral position will be taking the widest where the, wherever your ball of your foot is like mine's right here and just go slightly under with the cleat so before i used to have a setup like here which is where it used to be wider the widest part of my foot was directly on it but you would get a lot of hot spots on it so we lower it getting you more leverage on the pedal as well because now this cleat is underneath on the back of it let's see if i do this i can get a better angle bringing the cleat more back towards the um behind the ball of your foot to get more leverage kind of like being more forward on the saddle to get over the cranks more same thing you're getting more over the pedals and be able to push down more and also eliminate the hot spots as well uh so i'll kind of show you guys how i did this so cleat adjustment oh and also as well um whenever someone's setting up cleats as well and they're installing it a lot of people typically like to ride heel out it's just preference for a lot of people they typically like to ride heel out what i mean by that is when you're riding your your shoe is not dead set it's usually sometimes towed in or they like to have their toes in with the heels out and if you ever want to accomplish that like i have some people whenever i set up their cleats sometimes like oh i want to go in more and their heel be in towards the bike let's let's say the bike is right here and this is going up and down they don't like that they want it to be a little bit more away from the bike whatever adjustment if you want to accomplish that it's the opposite so if you want your heel to be more out you're going to um not toe your heel because people what they'll, they'll typically think is they'll, they'll loosen this and then they'll toe this more in to get their heel going out because that's the direction of it it's the opposite so if i want my heel to go out i'm going to move it away from the the inside of the shoe i'm going to go towards the outside of the shoe and when i move the, the this that way it's going to cause the heel to go away from the bike more so if you like to ride more heel out it's always going to be opposite so think of that because of the fact that the shoe is upside down so i do have the shimano spd yellow clear right here you want to take it you get this inside the package and you get some hardware in here you get some washers and some bolts so 
So all I do is take it like this, put a, a washer, a washer, and another washer. Very simple. And it doesn't have to be, everyone likes to think cleat position has to be exact. And this is where it comes into a realm of, again, I get this question a lot. I am the bike fitter at the store, and I went to three different specialized fitting classes, retool, everything like that. Um, this is very subjective, and this is very preference, because a lot of times people, when they're riding bikes, majority of people don't ride them every single day like for the pros. So when they get back on a bike after two weeks, they're sore, and they think their cleats are this, or they think their body's this, or they think that something's wrong with their bike fit. It's just like working out. If you stop working out, for two weeks and you jump back into it the next day you're gonna be more sore than normal but you just look at it as oh i worked out i feel sore it's great people look at it like when they're on the bike that they're very uncomfortable and they think that's a whole fit reason no you just have to get acclimated the bike is the sport of biking is about pain i will tell you this you have to endure the pain now if you're in excruciating pain obviously no there's something wrong but you're gonna have some soreness you have to work through you're gonna have some pain you have to work through on the bike and that's just called you know getting better i mean you're, you're i mean yes you can make fits where you're very comfortable and upright but you know if if you get on the saddle after two weeks of taking off your butt's going to be sore that's normal you, there's no just magic seat you can put on there and it's going to be take it away same with shoes and hot spots stuff like that um so the more you switch stuff around as well and try different saddles and different cleats and different shoes and everything like that you're going to be in more pain because you're never going to be able to adapt to it so Anyways, we can talk more about fits. Let me know if you guys want to talk more about fits later on. I, I have saddle solutions. I have I've, I've have horror stories from the customers and every different situation. So if you guys want to know more about bike fitting or, or my opinion on it, because I don't think there is right or wrong on it, you let me know down in the comment section. I'll make more videos like this. So I have the washers installed, pedals and or the uh, screws installed as well. And I'll just basically tighten them down to a point where I can move around snugly. Let's see if I can just camera right like this. So it's more better so I'll just tighten them up and now i typically like to ride more down and this is going to get you more power taking pressure off that first metatarsal which is right here we don't want the ball of foot to be like that that's how we used to set up right there in the middle and this more point toe or straight up this is all again preference to you and whatever like that the more optimal this is called the new the new neutral position we lower this right here take it off the ball of foot to avoid those hot spots and now we're going to have a starting point for where we can ride at and we go from there and i also like to ride a little bit heel out just i don't know why just for my personal preference and what i'm used to so now what i'll do is take this just go almost straight up so i'll give you guys a, a, a showing what it looks like so this almost lines straight up with the shoe um you can tow it in a little bit more i'll do it like this and that's again this is what this float is for this float's gonna allow me to be more comfortable I don't want it like this because that means my heel is going to be in more towards the bike. So I want it right there. That's going to be comfortable for me. And these are my personal shoes, guys, so don't worry about it. And that's going to be it. That is called the new neutral position that Specialized will even talk about. Um, and this is, again, to relieve hot spots if you guys are a hot spot having person. But that is how you set them up on normal shoes. I have rode... The blue cleats as well. I do notice that there is a lot of lot less float. It's two degrees, it's four degrees less float on there. It's almost close to zero. I am not a fan of it because one, I'm, not, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I don't ride as much as I used to. I have two kids, one six month old and one three and a half year old, and I haven't been riding as much as I should be. <laughs> um, but when you work at the bike store, especially during COVID, you don't you, you don't get to ride. You get to help people else out with riding. But right now it's been a little bit uh, crazy. But I will get back out there. But yes, that's why I opt for more float to have more, uh, more, more forgiveness when I get back on the bike. But that is my solution. Let me know what you guys think about. It. Let me know if you have any questions on it. Again, this is not saying this is right, wrong, or anything like that. This is just a, a technique that I've learned throughout the years of fitting to reduce hot spots and also to give you a little bit more power. Um, it's more optimal for power. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you guys do want more video, fit videos too, let me know. I mean, I've done retool training by Specialized. I've done fit courses one and two for time trial bikes and everything like that. I've been inside the wind tunnel. A lot of fun stuff. I'm, I don't talk a lot about fitting because it's such a great area that I, I'm a huge believer in everything. Everyone's different and there is no right and wrong in it. But I can give you my opinions on it. So let me know if you guys want that down in the comment section below. 
I will have some more bikes coming for you guys this week. I took a little two days off. We're going to bang out some Scott foils. I think I have in the Onyx Black coming out. I'm oh, sorry, not foil. The Addict RC in the Onyx Black. I have the Tarmac build coming up that I'm going to be doing. I have, uh, I think, some other Tarmacs coming in. I have some wheels coming in. I think I have some Envies coming in. Uh, some hookless Envies with Envy tires I'm excited about. So I have a lot more content coming out, guys. And let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys. See you next video. Bye.